Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on determining the circumference of a circle given the area or perimeter of an inscribing square. Now by inscribing square I just mean that around this circle we've got a square that goes around it, that inscribes it. Now we're told the perimeter of the square is 12 centimetres, so the total length around the outside of the square is 12 and we want to find the circumference of the circle giving our answer to one decimal place. Now let's just remind ourselves how we find the circumference of a circle. Remember the circumference of a circle is just the length of the perimeter of the circle. And if we had the radius of the circle, so remember the radius is the line that goes from the center of the circle to the perimeter, the length of that radius is R. Or we could use the diameter. The diameter is the line that goes from one end of the circle to the opposite end. Let's call that D for diameter. And you can see that two lots of R, two lots of the radius, will be the diameter. And the circumference, the perimeter of the circle, we can either use the formula pi D. Remember in algebra, when we put two things next to each other, just means you times them. So pi, remember, is a special number, um, 3.14, etc., etc., which we can find in our calculator. And D, which is the diameter circle. Or you can use 2 pi R. That means 2 times pi, this special number, times by the radius of the circle, r. So let's look at this particular problem. We've got the perimeter of the square is 12 centimetres. So the total of those four lengths of the square is 12. So how would we find each length? Well, there's four sides of the square, so we just need to divide 12 by 4, because there's four sides, and that tells us that each side of the square is three centimetres, yeah? If we've got three centimetres, three, 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 those four sides would add up to 12. Now we can see that the height of the square is the same as the diameter of the circle. We can see from here to here, that is also three centimetres. And then we can just use the appropriate formula. Well, we can see the circumference of the circle is just pi times the diameter. So the circumference of the circle, I'm just gonna use C for short, is pi, multiply by the diameter of the circle, which we said was three, and that gives us, well, if we want to simplify that, it'd be three pi, because we always put the number before the pi. So it's something lots of pi, three lots of pi, three pi. But we want it as a decimal, so we have to put three pi in our calculator, or three times pi. So three, shift pi, and then equals, and that gives me nine point, is it one decimal place? So 9.4, and the unit is centimetres, and that is the final answer.